Right, welcome to the Sony Xperia Tablet Z or Z, depending upon which part of the world you come from, which is the uh, three, this is the 3G version or 3G stroke 4G version of the tablet, um, which comes um, with the ability to slot in a um, SIM um, or micro SIM as they call it to uh, do um, the ultimate tableting when you're out and about and roaming around, as you'll see later on in the uh, in this uh, video, comes in a, a very sparse actually um, package. Uh, if you look at this, what you get basically is a a power uh, plug USB, which you have to use. It won't you won't be able to charge it from a standard USB from your laptop, which I assume means that it's, it it draws more juice than your traditional tablet. Um, a USB cable for the charging of and a very small set of documentation, basically a startup guide and that's it. I mean the rest of it is kind of, you know, SAR information and all that kind of stuff. So the tablet itself, oh my my my. Well look at Sony, eh? Written, written off as a has-been company and only a few scant months ago and look at them now look at this beautiful piece of engineering I mean there's no other way to, to say it the thinnest lightest tablet of its class in the world um, and boy <laughs> this is a head turner you walk into a room with, room with this and people will notice you trust me okay so uh, let's have a, a little bit of a dig through the the product itself right the first thing is it's kind of difficult to find out where all the ports are because it's so thin and, and, and sleek and cool and all that kind of stuff. They buried the ports into the chassis um, very effectively, which also gives it its waterproof feel, uh, waterproof f uh, features, which we'll again um, see later on in the video. Uh, so here's the USB port um, tucked away there. Uh, quite fiddly, but uh, accessible. I mean, you know, come on, I'm, I'm being silly here. It's, it's cool. Um, under here, you'll find the headphone socket. 3.5 standard. Thank you very much for keeping it standard, Mr. Sony. Um, and on this side, you'll find the SIM card and the micro SD. I don't know if you can see that. It's probably too dark it's very it's almost impossible to photograph this this product because of this monolithic 2001 you know stick that up in a kubrick film and you'll get an idea of the kind of you know effect um let me have a look so here's the sim card um we had a bit of trouble trying to get this in i have to say it's a micro sd sim uh you can see that i think yes um and it slots in kind of just like that oh there you go put it and the micro sd card goes next door to it on either side here you've got the speakers very tiny tiny speakers here left and right um volume switch power switch here this silver uh, the only thing that's, that's prominent on the whole external part of it and on the back just the camera um lens or cover and a couple of names and a front camera, which you, again, will have trouble seeing, I suspect, but there it is, right in the middle there. It's running 4.1.2. It seems to be fairly uh, stock. So only have um, learned from past experiences. In operation, it runs um, nicely. So it's quick. Um, you know, obviously the, the maps, I've been playing with this all day, so the maps are, are cached and stuff, but even so, it, it redraws nicely. Um, a benefit of the quad core. Um, the GPS is nicely responsive. I don't know if you can see up there, it's, it's locked in already and it hasn't been um, triggered for a while. Um, so there's no complaints on that front, uh, really. So um, if we look at things like uh, YouTube, um, the quality of the videos is um, rather fine, actually. I mean, it, it has no problems running um, YouTube videos. I didn't want to play too much of that in case I get hit by the copyright cops. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, wonderful this is, isn't it, giving reviews. In terms of battery life, um, we found it to be very respectable. Um, for instance, today we've been running it um, for most of the afternoon and we've used up uh, about 30% of the 
of the battery life. The camera is perfectly serviceable. As you can tell, the it's very responsive. Um, and has the similar kind of, of Sony um, functionality you find on their standalone cameras in terms of picture effects and uh, panorama and scene selections. Um, I mean, really, those kind of things are more toys than, than reality with this level of camera because you're not going to get the same kind of quality out of the lens. But, you know, as, you, as you'll see from the example shots we've taken, it, it does the job. Oh yes, there you go, subway surfers in all its glory. Whoa, whoops. This is the point at which all testers dread where they face the real prospect of returning a very, very broken product to the owners the, if it, it all goes wrong. But anyway, they assured us that this is a, a waterproof uh, up to 30 minutes and up to some ridiculous depth, so let's try it. First thing you have to make sure is, of course, that all the little doors are firmly closed. Um, that's the secret of the waterproofness. Oh, look at that. Wonderful, I can't get it fully in. That's a bit of a shame, isn't it? I need a bigger bowl. Somebody get me a bigger bowl! So I've still got nothing big enough to do the whole deed, so I'm gonna have to do, cheat a little bit and uh, run this thing, you know, in the, uh, in a saucepan. I'll go off and boil it in a minute, but I mean, you know, let's see. Can we make it work? Oh, let's look. It almost, oh, you can almost take it under water with you when you're scuba diving, almost, and make it run <laughs> as it's sitting under water. It's kind of freaky, isn't it? I mean, uh, whether you want to do this with your um, $500 or 400 pounds or whatever it costs in your country, whether you want to do this with your particular device is up to you. My job is just to be fearless because it doesn't belong to me. The Sony <laughs> Xperia, this does make me laugh. The Sony Xperia Z, <laughs> which is the mermaid of tablets. Forget about the quad core and all that kind of stuff. This baby frolics in the foam. Um, overall impressions, conclusions and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's lovely. I mean, yes, we can we can definitely uh, see ourselves living with one of these. It's the single most stylish Android tablet we've ever seen. I mean, it's beautiful. It, it you you really can't deny. I mean, it makes the iPad actually look a little bit old-fashioned, dare we say that, you know? And it's a, it's a really strange thing to say, but it's 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 got the right kind of feel for a tablet, which is very thin, very light. Um, and very elegant. Elegant is the word. There's no, there's no um, unnecessary uh, flim flam about this tablet. It just sits there. It does the job. You know, Wi-Fi is very responsive from a from a distance, which is one of the key things about um, these tablets. Is you know how well do they operate on Wi-Fi away from the router? Uh, and we've tested this across through. through a number of rooms which would otherwise defeat the Wi-Fi uh, uh, here, and it's been fine. Um, battery life we've also found to be fine. The GPS tracking, instantaneous, you know, with them a GPS switched on and all that kind of stuff. High-end cost, I mean, compared to alternatives, but no more than the top of the range. And for the specification and the style and all the other bits, we can say a hearty recommendation. This is a a great product. You will not regret this. This um, owning this product, and your friends will go ooh when you walk into the room. The Sony Xperia Z, 3G, 4G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,